The DJI Phantom 3 is what a drone should be, a tiny quadcopter with a professional grade camera, endless configurability, user friendly polish and a price tag that won't require a new credit card. A few years ago only a couple people could take to the skies with UAVs, but with its entry level Phantom drones, DJI has been gradually chipping away at both the technical and financial barriers that keep normal people away. So the Phantom 3 does come in two main models, a Phantom 3 Professional and a Phantom 3 Advanced. The main difference between the two is the camera. The Pro version shoots 4K footage at 30 frames per second, while the Advanced shoots at 1920x1080 resolution, but it goes all the way up to 60 frames per second. The Pro version also does cost a bit more, it costs $1,250 or $1,350 packaged with an extra battery, while the Advanced costs just $1,000 or $1,100 with an extra battery. Now the Phantom 3 models aren't insanely cheap, especially compared to competitors like the Iris Plus from 3DR which costs just $750, but the Phantom line does have a fair number of features that can make the extra cost worthwhile. For a start, DJI has dramatically improved its camera technology over the years. The Phantom 3 Pro model has a 4K camera as I already said, but it actually shoots with a 94 degree field of view, which allows you to shoot realistic, distortion free video from a distance. As before, the Phantom's flight and camera are controlled by an included remote and a phone or tablet that you supply yourself. You control a bulk of the flight and camera moves with the controller, while monitoring the footage and tweaking deeper settings in the DJI app, which is available for both iOS and Android. The nice thing about this phone tablet combo is it really allows you to configure the settings to your personal preferences. You can control all the camera functions manually, and you can even tinker with finer points of image quality like bitrate in real time. Now what really makes the Phantom 3 stand out is the fact that you can really turn any additional features you don't want or understand off. For all the sophistication crammed inside the Phantom 3, DJI's biggest achievement is demystifying UAV to a huge audience of people. Beginner mode is always just a tap away, and it makes it really easy to just control this drone for recreation, or just flying it around just for the fun of it. Now obviously the Phantom 3 hasn't yet hit stores, but when it does come, I'm really excited for what DJI is offering. Hobby drones have been gaining popular momentum over the last few years, and with the Phantom 3, I could really see this market taking off. But give me your opinions on the DJI Phantom 3 in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.